HubSpot deals are super important to help you track ongoing negotiations with other businesses. The entire sales hub section uh, will help you track negotiations, monitor revenue figures and things like that. So in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how we work with HubSpot deals and pipelines. What is a deal inside HubSpot? A deal represents an ongoing negotiation that you have with a business. So if you're in the process of selling your products or services to another business, usually what you do inside HubSpot is you create a deal to represent this, this process, this transaction, right? The, the deal itself will store important information that you have about this this transaction, uh, such as amount, for example, so financial, you know, information, um, information about the contact associated with the deal, and other types of important information that you have about this negotiation. This is when you use deals. Of course, deals they can be adapted to your business. Um, for example. One of my clients is an IT consulting company, and so they have all these different IT projects going on for, for different companies, right? So usually what they do is they, they create a deal uh, to represent a project that they have going on um, or that they want to win uh, from, from a potential customer, right? So that's how they use deals. But deals, essentially, they represent negotiations with, with other businesses. Let's talk about how you create deals next. To create a deal, you're going to go to your sales hub and then you're going to click on deals. Deals are created and added inside of pipelines. So this is a pipeline here. A pipeline has different stages, right? You can add a deal to this stage, to this stage, or you can move a deal from this stage to this one and so on and so on. We're going to talk about pipelines in a second. But the idea with deals is that, yes, you create them and they get added to your pipelines. So let's go ahead and let's create a deal together here inside of our HubSpot account. To create a deal, that's, that's the easiest process of creating a deal. You're going to click on that orange button that says create deal. And you're going to fill out a form with important information that you have about that deal. So as an example, I'm going to create a deal, which is a social media audit. So I have a digital marketing agency and um, I'm selling social media audits as, as a product to potential clients, right? So I'm in the process of selling a social media audit to a customer called Lemonade IT. Lemonade IT. I will show you in a second where this company is located. Now, where is this deal going to be added? By default, a deal is added to your sales pipeline inside HubSpot. If you have a paid account, you can have multiple types of pipelines. For example, sometimes businesses, they will have one pipeline for coaching services, another one for courses, another one for another type of product, and then another type of product, and so on and so on. So you can have multiple deals pipelines inside HubSpot if you have the right type of HubSpot account. If you have, if you're using a HubSpot free account, you can definitely um, use the default one, which is the sales pipeline here. Okay. Which stage am I adding this deal to? Um, by default, HubSpot is giving you these stages that you see here. They represent, as the name says, you know, different stages in the process of selling something. So we, um, we, we schedule an appointment with a person, right? With a potential customer. Then we schedule a presentation with them. Then the decision maker in the company bought in. And then we send them the contract. And then they signed. So closed one. Or they decided to go ahead with the competitor. So closed lost. Something like this. So um, you have these stages which are here by default. You can also change them. amount. What is the amount of money I'm going to make from that deal? Let's say as an example, I'm making this amount of money here. There are other information, here, other fields that are here in my form, but they, you see that they are not tagged with an asterisk and that's because they are not mandatory. In, in, when it comes to this create deal form that I'm seeing here, I can make some of these fields mandatory and make others really not mandatory, make others optional, right? So in this case here, I don't have to fill out the deal type, for example. I can, but I don't have to because it doesn't have an asterisk, right? So just so that you know, there's a way you can make fields mandatory. Um, deal type is a, is a HubSpot property that will tell me if this deal is for a new business or an existing business, important for reporting. How, you know, if you, if you want to create a report to see how much money you're making from current businesses or new businesses to compare both, you can, you can do this based on a property called deal type. Um, 
Priority as well. What is this deal priority? High, medium, or low? This is an optional field, so I'm going to leave it in blank. Now, really, really important aspect of creating a deal, associating this deal with other objects inside HubSpot. This is one of the ultimate HubSpot's best practices that I want you to remember. <laughs> um, if, if there is one key takeaway you can, you can get from this video, please let it be this one. Associate your deals with other records in the system. When you're, in when you're in the process of selling something, you are negotiating with a person who works at a business. Right, And so it's really important that you associate your deal with that contact and also with the company where they work. This is important on so many levels that it will probably take me more videos to explain this whole thing. But basically, um, you want to associate deals with contacts and companies for reporting purposes later on if you want to see how much money you made from specific companies, right? specific customers. You can see this if you have your deals associated. Um, you can run automation better as well if these contacts are associated. So, and also for your own team to know, right? So if you have different sales team members working on, 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 on getting some projects approved and, and winning deals there, you want to make sure that people know who is talking to whom so that there is no confusion there. It's important that information is aligned inside HubSpot. And that's why these are only three of the reasons why you want to associate deals with companies and contacts. Let's go ahead and let's associate this deal with a contact. My contact in this case will be Sarah Smith. Sarah is already added to my HubSpot account. So Sarah is in the CRM. That's why I'm associating her, associating Sarah with my deal here. And Sarah works at a company called Lemonade IT Services. So I'm also associating the company with the deal as well. So the deal will be created and automatically associated with Sarah and with the company Lemonade IT Services. Okay. Very important thing that I need to tell you here is, you know how every record inside HubSpot has its dedicated profile, right? Sarah has a contact profile. Sarah's company, Lemonade IT Services, also has a, a company profile. All these different records that you, you, you create inside HubSpot, they have dedicated profiles. In this profile, you can see the timeline of the activities that happen with that record. For example, in Sarah's profile, I can see, you know, if Sarah sent emails, replied to emails, if Sarah called us or not. So all these different activities that happened with Sarah in the past, right? Um, you can get HubSpot to add the timeline of these activities to the deal as well. You can pull information from what happened, you know, with the contact or with the company to the deal as well. And this is what I'm doing when I click on this option here, add timeline activity from Sarah to this deal. That means that Whatever happened with Sarah in the past, I will be able to see in the deal page. Whatever happens with Lemonade IT services in the past, I will be able to see in the deal page as well. Okay, let's go ahead and let's create this deal. As soon as I create a deal inside HubSpot, I get automatically redirected to the deal page. This is what the deal page looks like. Um, in the left sidebar, I have all the important information that I have stored about that deal, right? The amount, um, the stage, the deal name, and so on and so on. In the middle section, I have the activities tab, meaning everything that happened with either the deal itself, um, you know, for example, we moved the deal from stage to stage or something like this, or, you know, with contacts associated with the deal or with companies associated with the deal, something like this. In this case here, I, um, you know, both Sarah and Lemonade IT services are records that I created just now for this tutorial. So there is really no activity there. But if, for example, I had an email exchange with Sarah, or if Sarah called us or Sarah had a meeting with us or something like that, I would be able to see this here in the activities tab because I associated, I asked HubSpot to add the timeline of Sarah's contact profile to my deal page, right? So if things happen, you will be able to see it here in the activities tab. 
um, you know, if if not, uh, then then it's going to be quite empty, just like this. Of course, now it's just a tutorial, so I don't really have much to show. But it's the activities tab, just so that you know. And in the right sidebar, you can see the associations, right? So I told you how important it is to um, associate your deal with contacts and companies. I have here a card for Sarah, meaning Sarah is associated with this deal, and Lemonade IT Services, which is the company where Sarah works you know, is also associated with this deal. Um, so let's go ahead and let's talk about more details about deals. How do you store more information about deals? You can use the available properties that are here for you. So let's go ahead and let's click on view all properties. This is where you add more details about your deals, more information that you want to store. For example, let's say that I want to add a deal description. Um, I can go ahead and fill out the property deal description. Uh, so let's say it's a social media audit. Uh, deal description could be, you know, they want us to focus on YouTube, right? A social media audit where we focus a little bit more on their YouTube channel, something like this. So this is me just editing an available property that exists for deals inside HubSpot. What if this deal is actually a monthly deal? It's a service that I'm providing uh, on a monthly basis. It's not a one-off type of deal. So there are different types of amount related properties and one of them is monthly recurring revenue, something like this, right? So, and, and if you need more, you can also go ahead and create more custom properties for deals inside HubSpot. This is just, uh, just wanted to show you how you can store more information about deals. You do this by using HubSpot, uh, HubSpot deal properties. The default properties are available for you here, and you can also create your own custom deal properties in the system as well. And this is how you store important information about your deals. If you want to learn more about HubSpot deals and the entire HubSpot sales hub, so creating and managing different pipelines, creating sales proposals with HubSpot, creating meeting links, um, sales reports, to track and monitor performance and basically everything that is part of the sales universe, so to say. Uh, check out my course, HubSpot for Sales Professionals. It's on Udemy Academy. I will add the link to the course below here in the video description. Um, this course covers everything that you need to know if you're a sales professional using HubSpot or, you know, you're perhaps a business owner but using HubSpot for sales purposes. Um, and this is a quick overview of the course outline here. Okay, so this course is available on Udemy and it's actually one of the HubSpot highest rated courses at the moment on Udemy as well. Uh, it's a very practical course, very hands-on with many assignments to help you put things into practice. Um, and so, yes, if you're, if you're looking to learn more about HubSpot for sales, check out this course on Udemy. If you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel for more videos about HubSpot and automation.